welcome back to the Little Adventures. Welcome to today's um, book for Advent 2023. Um, so at the time I am recording this is December 2nd, but it's reasonably matter what day you watch. And time to open our second gift. Oh. Uh, Thing called Snow. It's one of my favourite books um, by by Yuval Zomer. So let's get into it. This one I got signed. Yep, sorry. I got it signed from Yuval Zomer. Fox and the Hare were born in the spring. Rabbit and Summer are best friends by autumn. First page. So there's the first page. Absolutely amazing illustrations. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna take this out. There. That's a bit easier to read. Fox likes to jump, leap. Bounce and was very good sniffing far away things. Hare liked to bounce, leap and jump and was very good at hearing far away things. Then one day, his nose pricked. Hare's ears pricked. Wind is on its way, said Turn. I'm flying south, but soon you'll be able to jump, leap and bounce in this thing called snow. But what exactly was snow? Before Fox, Fox and Hare could find out, Turn had already gone. They decided to venture into the great forest to ask Bear. What is snow like? They said, snow is white like your fur, Bear said. So thanks, Bear, and set off looking for something white as their fur. At the forest's edge, they found Caribou who was nibbling some something white among the grass. Excuse me, said Hare. Is that snow? No, these are flowers, said Caribou. Snow is cold like your noses. Round a rocky bend, they found salmon leaping through an icy stream, flashing bright. Hello there, called Fox. That's snow. No, this is spray, said Salmon. Snow is fluffy like your tails. They look, they followed the stream, searching for something as fluffy as their tails. Hare heard a honk, looked up at the great sky. Is that snow? He he called to Goose, who was flying overhead. No, these are clouds, said the Goose. It's not as sparkly like your eyes. Fox and Hare were not getting too tired and cold to search for this thing called snow. So they stopped by the edge of a lake. And the, in the inky water shimmered with something sparkly. Snow whispered fox stars on there, which means it's our bedtime. But they were too far away to get home before dark. I'll do it again in case you can't see. 
because the light behind the camera didn't work. Turn off. Let's sleep here tonight, said Fox. We'll find our way back in the morning. Uh, and she wrapped her thick tail around them both, curled up together for warmth. Fox and the hare soon fell asleep. They didn't see the white, cold, fluffy, sparkly flakes that started to fall softly from the sky. They didn't hear bear and caribou crunching through the snow to look for them. Hare and Fox woke up to a bright, white morning like brother. Hello, Snow. Hello, Snow. Hello, Snow. They squealed. Hello, Bear. Hello, Caribou. They helped as they jumped, leapt, and bounced in the whitest, coldest, fluffiest, sparkliest snow. We're so glad we found you, said Bear. We, we worried you were lost. So now let's find our way home. Said the caribou. Follow us, said Hare and Fox. Remembered every step they taken around the lake, along the narrow stream, across the meadow, through the forest. And they were followed by Fing. Called Snow. I I hope you enjoyed today. Um, I um really like this book. And um, bye. See, see you next time. How can I see?